So as promised, this video is going to be about camber, caster, toe, and the often ignored um, steering axis alignment. We'll start with camber. So imagine that's your wheel, that's your axle. The camber is basically the angle at which your wheel sits. Positive camber is wheels tilted out, negative camber is wheels tilted in. That simple. Now it's, it's important on uh, cars more than bikes or trucks because they have a flat section on the bottom of the car, flat, albeit rounded. Um, as a car corners, the wheel tilts, the car tilts, and you're trying to get as much contact patch on the floor as possible. Not so important on the trike because the bottom of a trike tire looks more like that. However, if you imagine your axle, that's a given distance yet to be determined on my trike. If you camber your wheels with some negative camber, i.e. tip the tops in, that increases the width of your track, therefore making the whole trike more stable. If you have wheels that are directly vertical, um, then you've got no kind of natural tracking. The more you camber the wheels, the more they track, to a point where you start scrubbing the tyres and you lose speed. So this, this angle is yet to be determined on my trike. I think there's going to be some experimentation. So on to the next one, caster. Okay, so caster is looking down the axle. So there's your wheel, suspension turret. Caster is effectively the angle at which the suspension turret or the steering mechanism tilts forward or backwards. Positive camber is as you see it there, the suspension turret effectively tilted backwards. The negative camber is tilted forwards. Now, if you look at uh, um, uh, standard push bike, if anyone's ridden a bike, the headset isn't directly vertical. So if you look at uh, a bike frame, now I'm exaggerating here obviously, but your headset here isn't vertical. Your forks normally have a rake on them where your wheel attaches. Uh, now that's because, the same principle, if you had that directly vertical and your forks directly vertical, the bike will wobble over the place. If you've ever ridden no-handed, you know you can let go of the handlebars just by leaning, the bike will naturally steer. If you flip the handlebars 180 degrees and try and ride no-handed, it'll just it's all over the place, it just won't work. So that's why, it's a bit counterintuitive, you would have thought it would work the other way around. But the fact, if you have the axle in front of the, uh, in front of the steering axis, then that's um, positive caster, which is what you need. However, the further you go forward, the more than that, the, the bike, or the trike in this case, will naturally want to straighten up. So as you steer and let go, you probably notice your car naturally wants to straighten up. That's that's um, achieved by caster. Too much caster and it becomes too heavy and steering becomes very difficult. So you want to get, again, the right amount yet to be experimented with. Um, I've read on the forums that about 15 degrees of caster for a trike is about right. It gives you enough self-centering but not too much effort in your steering. So you want a bit of feel to it. So that's uh, camera and caster. Now the next one is toe, dead straightforward. So I imagine there your front wheel's looking down, the rest of your trike is here. Toe is the amount of um, angle you've got on your wheels relative to completely parallel. So toe in, or positive toe, is wheels angled, so looking like that, wheels angled in. Toe out is wheels angled out. Now on a, I won't, I won't explain why you need on a front wheel drive vehicle, on a rear wheel drive vehicle, you want your, your uh, steering wheels to toe slightly in because allowing for any uh, slack or play in your steering components, as you accelerate from the rear wheel, your front wheels will naturally try and try and toe out. And if they toe out, again exaggerate, if they toe out too much, you end up getting tire scrub and it's very inefficient, hard to pedal. So you want to toe them in a fraction. I'm only talking a matter of millimetres here from the, so sort of this measurement, and this measurement is a few millimetres difference. So as you accelerate and the slack is taken up, the wheels naturally toe straight. You want them pretty much straight uh, for a trike. Cars are different, but that's what you want for a trike. That's that one, dead simple. Now the last one is steering axis alignment. Now, 
front cross member, steering axis, centre line of your tyre. Now, what you're aiming for is the axis at which your tyre rotates, steers, to meet the centre axis of your of your tyre where it contacts the ground. So these two points meet right here. Now, if they don't, if you have a direct up and down like that, so these two points don't meet, if you have braked front wheels, any uneven braking on your wheels will cause them to pull whichever way the braking is. Also, if you hit a rough patch or a rock or um, you get a blowout, the tire will naturally want to slew sideways and pull the pull the trike to one side. If these two if these two points meet, it won't affect the steering because you've got a completely neutral point right in the middle. Um, the way I'm going to achieve this, I think at the moment, again, it's a bit of guesswork, is possibly to have mine directly upright, but then camber my um, wheels positively. So effectively, I bring the centre point to meet directly below the axis of alignment. Now that depends how far they're going to be tilted out, because like I said in the trike, if you have them straight or tilted out, you lose a bit of stability. So you ideally want a little bit of camber on them. So I may end up possibly cutting my cross member down here and then tilting it up like so. So when you add your steering components through that line, then you bring those two lines together, if that makes sense, as you will, as you're steering. So you can keep the, the uh, tire directly vertical and you can, by bending the entire axle or the entire cross member, you end up with a, a zero point right at the bottom. Like I said, a lot of this experimentation, a lot of this what I've read, I may even, when I start putting this together, is mock up the uh, cross member in wood um, before before I start making any cuts and just see what it looks and feels like because the only minimum I bought for this I bought brand new on eBay and I think it was about £20 for the cross member and about £40 for the, the main um, chassis rail so I don't want to go drilling it and make a mess of it so anyway caster, camber, toe, steering axis alignment let me know what you think, ask me any questions, cheers, take care